everybody and welcome to Zero Calvin. So about 10 months ago, I released this video about how to create your own morphs uh, for your character in Realusion Character Creator using Blender. Um, since then, Character Creator 4 has been released and also Blender has made some changes as well. If you look in the Blender uh, for the OBJ import and export, you'll notice that there is um, a Wavefront OBJ import, and there's also a legacy one, and the same with export. There's a Wavefront OBJ and a legacy one. So the legacy one is the version that I had used when I created this um, original video. Recently, I got a comment um, on this video saying that they tried to do it, um, but got this um, corrupted decryption key. Um, and later they realized that if they used the legacy uh, import export models, then it does work. And they're wondering if um, anyone knows how to make it work with the newer um, import export versions. And that's a good thing to explore because eventually I'm sure they're going to get rid of the legacy version, right? So that's what this video is going to cover. I'm going to attempt to figure out the workflow um, to get the new version of the import export working. Before we do that, we have to figure out why it isn't working. So we're going to scientifically try to figure out first whether it's the import um, model or the export model that is breaking it or both. And um, you know, then try to figure out if there's a combination of settings we can use to make it actually work. Now, if you don't, if you aren't interested in, you know, the scientific method and you just want the answer, I'll leave a link in the description with the appropriate timestamp that will give you the answer. For all those who want to take the ride, let's start exploring this now. So first off, I'm going to start off in Character Creator with the, you know, um, non-gendered base. So there's nothing under currently used. Uh, we're going to try three different things and see which one works. First, as a control, as you need in most scientific explorations, uh, we're going to try the legacy path all the way through and just make sure that everything's still working with that. Um, I'm just gonna skim through this because, you know, if you really wanna know how to do this, then, you know, go back and just watch this video. I'll leave a link in the description if you're curious about how to create morphs and character creator. So just like normal, we're going to export an OBJ uh, nude character and bind pose. Uh, I'm just going to do the body. We'll give it a name that we understand. And that's done. Now in Blender, we're going to import it using the legacy OBJ thing. I'm going to click on keep vertex order and polygroups, which is a workflow that I've always used and load it in. And we're just going to create a quick little morph here. And again, we're going to export it back out using the legacy workflow. And I'm going to use the presets that I normally would use in this workflow. We'll name it legacy in out and export it out. Now back in Character Creator, we can create the morph. I, I pick the default morph as the source and I'm using our just recently exported OBJ as the target. So the only other thing we need is the checksum file that was created when we originally exported out this character. We're gonna auto apply this and click OK. And just like that, the morph is working. So we know the legacy version is working. So let's now try some variables. So I return this back to the original state here. Uh, we've already exported out the base, so we're just gonna reuse that. I'm gonna delete this guy. And we're gonna try it with the newfangled import and then the legacy export. So I'm going to go to the new version of the import and select our neutral base. 
Now we don't have many options we can choose from, and for the moment I'm going to leave them in the default state of unselected. Okay, so that did import, that's fine. Um, just like before, let's create a morph. Oh yeah, that is a work of art. Definitely a work of art. Okay, so again, our character's selected. We're going to export it. We're going to use the legacy export. We're going to call this new in legacy out. And again, we're using the same selections that we had previously for the legacy model. Export out that out, go back into character creator. And again, I use the default morph as the source and the target is set to our new in legacy out. And we have to, again, select the very same OBJ key from when we originally exported this and we click OK. And we get an OBJ file or decryption key corrupted. So now it seems we have possibly narrowed it down to the new Blender import methodology. But just to be complete, we're going to try it the flip way and use the old import methodology and the new export methodology and see if that works. Delete this. And now we're going to try the legacy import. And again, we're using the same options from before. Import it in. Again, another lovely creation. It's selected. We're going to go to File, Export. And now we're going to try the newfangled OBJ export. And in the legacy method, we had always used uh, grouping by OBJ groups. So for consistency sake, I'm going to use that. Now there is no vertex order selection, so there's nothing to choose there. So I'm going to leave everything else the same for now and continue. Now back over in Character Creator, let's try this one out. So just like the other times, default morph for the source. The target is our legacy in new out that we just created. And again, I loaded up the OBJ key from when we first exported this. And let's click on OK. Again, we get a corruption. Wow. That's crazy. So that means the new method is breaking it in both directions, coming in and going out. That's, that's harsh. We can try one other method and do new in and new out and see if we use that consistently, maybe things will work. So let's just try that real quick. Okay, let's see what happens. As expected, still get the decryption key corrupted. So my first inclination is to start with um, seeing if we can get the new import method to work because we don't really have a lot of options to play with. And if neither one of those work, we can kind of assume that we're screwed. <laughs> um, <laughs> So let's just try with that. So we'll try with vertex groups selected and see if that helps at all. Let's load in our neutral base, import it in, and uh, let's just make like a unicorn head, I guess. And for export, we'll use the legacy method. So we'll call this one new in legacy out vertex groups so we know which option we chose. Export it out and see if that works. Okay, cross your fingers everyone. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. So this was with the new import method 
but we chose vertex groups when we brought it in. So that's great. We got it working with the new import method. Now all we have to do is figure out the correct options when we're exporting with the new one. So since this correctly imported with the new import methodology, I'm going to keep this. And we're just going to experiment out now with different ways of exporting it. So we're going to try the new export methodology. Now, since the vertex group option seemed to work so well during import, let's try it during export. Okay, now in Character Creator, let's try it out. Ah, uh, yeah, check it out, peeps. That works. So the only one question I have is, do we need to have the OBJ group thing selected as well, or does it work without that? Let's deselect OBJ groups, just have vertex groups. We'll call this um, no object group. And survey says, Ding, 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 ding. So for those of you who just want the answer to this riddle, here are the settings that you have to use for import and export. For import, when choosing the new Wavefront OBJ option, make sure vertex groups is selected. After making your morph, characters selected, go to export, Again, the new Wavefront OBJ, not the legacy. You want to limit to selected only and make sure vertex groups is selected. Again, the vertex group checkbox is the key to your success. Save out your morph, go back in character creator, load up the new editor, give it a name, Select your new morph. Select your previous, your checksum that was created when you exported this. And go. And just like that, it works. Yay! So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We learned that the vertex group checkbox must be selected for both import and export using the new Blender OBJ import exports methodology. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me and experimenting. I'm glad the experiment was successful and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.